Have you ever wondered how gold is separated from silver? This intriguing process is crucial in various industries and artisanal applications. Today we're going to explore three fascinating methods used to achieve this separation. We'll dive into the ancient technique of cupellation, the chemical process of nitric acid dissolution, and the electrical method of electrolysis. Each method has its unique intricacies, challenges, and advantages. So buckle up for a fascinating journey into the world of precious metals. Now, we will delve into these methods one by one. First up, we have cupellation. This age-old technique begins with heating a gold-silver alloy to about 1100 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the silver oxidizes into silver oxide while the gold remains unreactive. This silver oxide is then absorbed by porous cupels made of bone ash, effectively separating it from the gold. As the process continues, the silver oxide turns into vapor, leaving behind the pure gold. This gold is usually collected from the bottom of the cupel. Meanwhile, the silver oxide can be recovered from the cupel or released into the atmosphere. This traditional method has been employed for centuries, and it's still quite effective. Next, we have a method that involves a common laboratory acid, nitric acid dissolution. First up, prepare a solution by diluting nitric acid to around 50% concentration. Always don your safety gear and work in a well-ventilated area when dealing with such strong acids. Next, immerse your gold-silver alloy in the nitric acid solution. The acid will react with the silver, forming soluble silver nitrate. Gradually, the silver dissolves, leaving the gold behind. This process may take several hours, depending on the composition of your alloy. To recover the silver, add common salt to the solution. This will cause the silver to precipitate as silver chloride, which can then be filtered and processed further. Remember, safety is paramount when handling strong acids. Lastly, let's explore electrolysis, a method that leverages the power of electricity. In this process, an electrolyte solution is prepared using a mixture of hydrochloric acid and water. The next step is to set up the electrolysis cell. The gold-silver alloy is submerged as the anode or positive electrode and a pure silver electrode is used as the cathode or negative electrode in the electrolyte solution. When an electric current is applied, the silver in the alloy dissolves and deposits onto the pure silver cathode, leaving the gold behind. The silver can then be easily collected from the cathode, while the gold remains in the original form. This method is not only effective but also fascinating as it showcases the different electrochemical behaviors of gold and silver. So. We've seen three distinct ways to separate gold from silver. Cupellation uses heat, nitric acid dissolution employs a chemical reaction, and electrolysis leverages electric currents. Always remember, working with these precious metals requires caution, patience, and a good understanding of their unique properties. Happy experimenting!